Hello everybody, I'm back with another uh, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes review. This time it's Spider-Man's Doc Ock Ambush set. Uh, this was another set from 2012. Uh, I really like this set. This was the, this was the first Spider-Man set uh, in the current range. I believe they did actually some way back when um, for Spider-Man 2, I think it was. This set comes with three minifigures. It's more of a an actual full play set this time than a, than a group of vehicles like most of them are. Um, you do get a little um, vehicle of some kind. It's sort of Doc Ock's uh, runaround. You attach his octopus arms onto the actual back of it. Um, so it sort of doubles up as a uh, as a as an extra catch. Um, I really like this set. It's quite an interesting uh, little set. It's clearly designed to be part of sort of Doc Ock's secret layer. Um, you've got a few sort of action features on the actual set itself. Uh, we're only for the mini things. Um, you've got a little uh, section here that you can open up. You can trap. You can use to sort of have a have sort of iron fist caged, um, sort of ready for some form of experimentation. You have a uh, a sort of table of sorts, uh, clearly designed for Doc Ock to continue experiment or to continue his experiments. Clearly designed for Doc Ock to continue his experiments on poor Iron Fist here. Also, this radar dish is uh, is movable. The side walls themselves they can come in a little bit, sort of making the whole set feel more enclosed and more like a, 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 a secret lab. We've also got a fan as well, the fan, the, fan, the fan itself spins and we can pivot it up and down. I really like the colours on this, um, the, 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 sort of the baby blue uh, and the black work really well together to make it sort of sinister um, and evil yet not sort of overly, sort of overly dramatic. I like the stickers as well, on one side you've got a some form of readout uh, with a what appears to be some form of wave line as well. Um, you've got a keyboard and on the other side as well you've got some form of readout um, about the person who's on the chair. And on the other side we've got some form of, uh, it looks like some sort of, uh, sort of topographical, topograph topographical map. At first I, uh, at first I thought it was, uh, when, I first, uh, when I first got this set I, I, th I thought it was sort of the outline of, a, uh, of some form of Quinjet because it is kind of sort of pointed in uh, shape but then I sort of realised that it seems to be more sort of more of a Something, some sort of structure or something. Uh, and we've also got another computer readout on the other side as well. Uh, slightly tucked away. Dog Ox vehicle here. I think it's quite cool. Again, it matches, the colour scheme sort of matches uh, the rest of the set. And I really like the, the, the fact that you can actually stick Doc Ox um, arms. Uh, I like the fact you can stick Doc Ox arms on the back. Uh, I like the fact they spin as well. Uh, so they're nice and loose. And you can also pose them. These, these arms are fantastic uh, if you really want to sort of get some sort of posability um, out of Lego. You also get two flick missiles on either side. Um, I'm not going to push them out too far because uh, I don't want to lose them. The mini figures themselves, you get three in this set. You get a Spider-Man, you get uh, an Iron Fist who is unique to this set and uh, Doc Ock who is also unique to this set as well. Spidey himself uh, looked absolutely fabulous with the red and blue, the detailing and everything, um, uh, the artwork and the paint uh, again is absolutely perfect, absolutely sublime. Um, Lego always up to their absolutely perfect standards. There's Doc Ock thing. Stand. And of course, you also get printing on the back as well. A little bit of a rarity, but they went all out with uh, Spider-Man and I really like the squashed fat spider that they've got on the back. Next up we have Iron Fist. Um, again, perfect uh, detail work. Um, really like the, the uh, dragon on his chest. And finally we've got the bad guy, uh, Doc Ock. Um, he comes with two faces. He's got a dual head. The second head, he's got his glasses, uh, or is, is the red tint on his glasses lifted up. Um, he's got more of a sneer um, than he does on his other side. And there's really crisp detailing on the glasses uh, and the eyes. He, he really looks quite sinister. And of course, his front face. He looks incredibly angry, uh, like Spider-Man has interrupted his experiment on Iron Fist. You also get him uh, you also get his arms as well, which uh, Lego have done a brilliant job at recreating. Um, they've got lots of joints and lots of bends, um, so you can sort of, as I said earlier, really bring some posability to the actual set. Overall, I'd say this is an absolutely fantastic set. Um, if you're a big fan of Spider-Man you don't yet have this set, I'd definitely seek it out. This is obviously out of production now, um, so you're going to be looking at the more expensive uh, range because most likely of Iron Fist and, and this version of Doc Ock. They're the, they're the only two. They did do um, alternate Doc Ox. They've done two sets with Doc Ox uh, with a sort of more classic style as well. Sadly, this is the only way to get Iron Fist. 
But yeah, I think for kids, the playability is absolutely excellent. And for collectors, I think it's a nice set. It goes very well with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the Marvel stuff. And it's nice to have some form of lab amongst all these amongst sort of the many many vehicles that they released for the actual set. Um, if you like the video, uh, please give us a like. Um, maybe comment below. Uh, what was your favorite? Yeah, did you did you like the Ultimate Spider-Man series? Uh, I did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, and if you know if you want to see more, uh, think about subscribing. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you later. So bye, -sies.